Hey everybody, how you doing? Today we have Ryzen 5 35,000U Radeon Vega. Um, actually, we have four cores, a logic processor. So we're gonna do today a test to see if it's this mobile processor can um, play the Xenoblade Chronicles 60 FPS 1080p stable. So what we're gonna do here. Uh, let me just close this thing here. And I will show you the configuration before I start. Go to property. We go to patches. Uh, we know we have the config. So you know the editor. You can just go there and add the gecko code here. And you can find it here in the internet. Just type Xenoblade Chronicle 60 FPS. You'll find this code to add here. So once you do that, uh, you go to the gecko code here and click on 60 FPS and just uh, you know continue once you do that let me show you the uh, graphical setting that's the graphical setting so it's in direct xvd 11 amd radeon vega 8 graphics so if you have a laptop uh, with vega 8 graphics you are in um, actually uh, having you know this uh, test should be similar uh, if not exactly similar that your machine can handle so this is the enhancement as you can see 3x 1080p uh, uh, none here so I used to have it 2x but I just put it none to make everything very very smooth so pretty much straightforward we're gonna play this Wii game which is one of the legendary games uh, once you click on it uh, yep we're gonna see 16 FPS as you can see now it's on 60 FPS um, As I said, it's a mobile. So what are you gonna do now? We're gonna once the game play a little bit. We're gonna check out the uh, thermals So we're gonna put on the thermals right here Saying so it is in uh, 54 degrees right now, so we're gonna stay a little bit to play the game I actually connected to the PlayStation 4 controller. Alright. Now, as you can see here, it's playing at 60 FPS. Just go back a little bit. Um, we're going to watch the temperature goes up. So it's outside. It should actually. Let me just reduce the sound a little bit. So I'm outside. So this should actually draw a lot of uh, graphics because of the distance and uh, the textures. But for now, as you can see, the temperature goes to 63 degrees. And we are maintaining 60 FPS, 1080p. Uh, great, great. Uh, actually, looks really nice. And even if you get inside here, you actually not gonna have any issues at all. No stutters, nothing when it comes to the sound. Now, one one thing to actually add on here: if you play at full screen, you will get even better results. Uh, I don't know why, but it's just the emulator. Uh, second thing. You have to plug the power bottom over here if you turn it off you're gonna notice power uh, like drawback so let me just try and turn off the um, the charger so I plug the U charger to USB type C here now I'm gonna turn off the 65 watt charger it's now turned off okay it seems working fine so far no issues. Um, uh, okay, it seems that because of them, just go outside here. Yeah, no issues at all, actually. I think what I did before that, I think what I did is I actually, let me show you what happened here. I actually changed the graphical setting, which I adjusted here. Now, if you put it at 2x here you'll notice 
they will be stuttered and you see the graphics uh, I mean the shaders will be hard to load and the FPS is gonna go lower as you can see here now if you go X 4x it's gonna get even worse okay and we're gonna play you don't wanna you wanna play the small 60 FPS so once you turn it off and it's not big difference you know you cannot notice this thing uh, to be honest with you so it just gets better you if you turn it off but you know I'm happy person now I can play without plugging it uh, at 60 FPS I think the issue was with the anti-aligning thing so once it's turned off let's take a look at the battery the battery actually no it's plugged in because it's plugged in so uh, I cannot know how much battery we're gonna deal with but so far so good we are playing the game perfectly here no issues at all at 60 FPS now you can go one more thing once you add the gecko codes that I described before you go to advanced and click load custom texture there is, there are, there is a video explaining everything regarding this um, installment also it wasn't fast remove it and put it on save on accuracy everything else looks really smooth yep that's cool okay so we oh we turned it off actually yeah forgot about it okay so check this out we have 35 minutes for 30 34 percent so that's if you do the math <laughs> uh, that exactly 34 so for 100 uh, percent you get a 100 minutes of play time yeah, around that uh, yep uh, there is a video another video I'm probably gonna drop how to connect PlayStation 4 or how to configure your PlayStation 4 with the uh, Dolphin emulator with Wii because Wii is different harder to con configure with the PlayStation 4 sometimes it's tricky because the analog thing and uh, I'll try to show you how to do it in another video but for now uh, I just want to show you how this thing is working right now uh, you can do it if you have this processor think about it if you can do it with this processor you don't need to upgrade for a higher bigger processor to play the game at 60 fps guys this is xenoblade chronicle with the added textures by the way i forgot to say that i add uh, this is with the uh, with the custom texture so there is a bigger load than the base game with the 60 fps so think about it do you need to spend more money uh to get you know higher powerful laptop uh for the same if you are if you're looking for emulators emulators and uh, you tr you want to play games in that regard or you just spend a little bit of money for efficiency you know let's just put it this way like how efficient you want to be okay you want to be uh, as efficient as you can because you know today's time is really hard to you know with the with the situation the world is going on it's better for you to save your money for other things so this is just a video to show you uh, a way you can do it okay if you want to play video games if you enjoy video games uh, on a on a portable uh, device this is a way to do it uh, just check it out just download the uh, dolphin latest let me show you the latest uh, this is the version of uh, what is it? Yeah. So this is the version. I'm gonna go there and show you how to do it. So this is the version, guys. Just go and download this version exactly and get the, all the settings that I just showed you before, right? So yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think, what you want to know regarding this uh, setting. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Uh, please take care, be safe, and see you guys later.